Listen, I don't know where the fuck you come from, but where I'm from, Smite is merely a suggestion. Hey, what's up guys? It's time for another mystery skin gift giveaway. If you want to enter into these, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave your region and your summoner name down below. Here's some of the ones that the winner from the last one won. Also, if you want to join the Discord, if you want to have some discussion with our community, there'll be a link for that in the description. And finally, don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that you can enter in as soon as the video goes live. Hey, what's going on, Sodger? Welcome back to yet another Bronze Spectates, bringing another one to you. This one is going to probably be a shorter one than the last one. Yesterday, I hit it with like a 35 minute one. It's been a while since I had a really, really long bronze spectates, and I know that some people really like that. They like just, just putting on, chilling, kicking back, and watching the madness. But hopefully, this one's a little bit shorter. We'll try and keep it as concise as possible. As always, if you want to send in a bronze spectates, email will be on screen for you. If you don't know how to send in a bronze spectates replay, link to my Discord will be in the description. There's a big full how-to there that it's not worth putting in all the descriptions of every single video that you can just you can just get it there. It's much easier. Anyway, on to this. We do have ourselves a Skarner who doesn't have Smite in the email. The person that sent this in is actually the Skarner, by the way. He said uh, he, he got top, which explains the uh, current position of the roles and the, the leaderboard thing here. He, had, he, he got top. Asked, Clyde wanted top, he swapped with them, and forgot to take Smite, so that's a bit unlucky. Still, nonetheless, there's going to be a bit of an issue here. He's not going to get level 2 off of this red buff, but, eh, still, he should be able to, with that shield and stuff, he should be able to clear okay. The only major issue is going to be the fact that the, uh, the experience is not going to be ideal. Now, we're in about, like, probably mid to high bronze right now. Uh, actually, as I say this, as I look at the OP.GG, my boy Skarner here is actually in his promos for silver, so he's going to be uneligible for any future bronze spectates, hopefully, pretty, pretty soon. Yeah, he was silver last season, but unfortunately, the gods of League of Legends have dropped him straight into bronze. I think bronze 3 is where he got placed, so that's kind of unlucky, but still. He's got a halfway decent, like, queer here, even despite the fact he doesn't have the, uh, the smite. Not the most ideal thing in the world. However, hmm. Zoe? XD? I'm actually not sure how she gets this pick, because he's got a level advantage. She flashes, hits the drowsy out. Ah, there's the Q. Kaboom. There you go. Yeah, that'll be your ass if, uh, if you fuck with Zoe's like that. Beyond that, though, I'm actually surprised. Everything across the board is pretty normal in terms of picks. Thresh managing a land out hook here onto this Zaya. Flay going down. That's the, uh, the misfortune getting ignited there. She's pushing up on this, though. We don't have any- we do have- we actually do have flash. Like, Zaya still has flash up, she just didn't- she, Yeah, well, she didn't choose to use it apparently. That's- that's fucking fantastic. It sure beats the shit out of yesterday's video where half the team were a AFK most of the time. So Zorna's actually picked himself up the Hunter's Potion. That's probably a very good call to make when you're, uh, you're gonna- you're gonna have difficulty sustaining getting that extra damage off of, like, Machete and stuff, the lifesteal. Dude, I, I have no idea why. They don't make it a thing that you can buy fucking smite if you're not if you don't have like you don't you can't buy jungle items if you don't have smite. We got a decent one for one mid lane, but Christ on mate, I don't see the point of not be making that a thing. Like I suppose it's because it would make it because I think jungle items are quite strong and don't cost as much to buy, maybe? And that would make it so that like top laners and mid laners could maybe pick up. I haven't got a clue. If somebody knows the reason behind this, I'm absolutely all ears to learn. But as far as I'm concerned, like, I mean, you know, he doesn't have smite, but at least give him something so we can at least maintain XP. Because if you don't take smite when you're jungling, you're basically just calling it GG there. And especially in rank, that is, that's not, that's absolutely not a fucking option that you can have right there. So, alright, Skarner here. I don't think they can really pull anything out of this. Drowsy lands on a Galio. That's a nice little disengage. She actually gets a nice little bit of damage off there as well. That is, that is like a level 3 Q. And it does like, whoa, 300 damage. That's nasty. Skarner is still coming back in on this, so he comes ready. He flashes. He's only level 3, though, so the flash was a little bit pointless. They're tanking tower, though. Sejuani's now coming down. The Q doesn't manage to land from this way, though. Q coming out from Sejuani. She's going to try and almost... She's got the stun down. The flash from Zoe as well. Picking up that Galio. Galio is now 1 in 3. So that's not ideal. Skarner's probably just going to get... He's probably going to get a decent amount of XP off of this wave, actually. In all actuality, this might be a good thing for Skarner. We will talk Wayne. We're closing in on level 6 here. Riven just getting level 6. Immediately going for the Blade of the XL. Coming down, dropping it. Now, now uh, Quaid is out of his uh, his little Skarl form. And they managed to double kill. 
they managed to double KO. I actually didn't think that would be a possible thing, but apparently it definitely is. Mid lane as well, Galio. I mean, Sejuani's just like dual lane in mid lane. I don't really know what's happening here. Maybe they're pre-made. Maybe that's what that is. I swear to God, Sejuani, get the fuck out of mid lane, dude. Jesus Christ, it drives you going down. Finally. Okay, we're going to get another pick on a Galio here. Christ almighty. Sejuani's just pitching a fucking 10 on this mid lane. Skarner is getting a lot of CS, so undeniably. He's got more CS than Galio. Probably just because he's getting free farm. Like... I mean, he's, I, mean, I mean, I guess he's not getting free farm because Zoe is, like, chilling up there. But still, holy moly. The Ollie from Craig comes down, misses the bear trap on a rope. He's still going in on this, so dashing onto that Riven. He's now into his, uh, his other farm. Riven having to pop that flash. He's running fairly quickly towards though. Popping that flash. Dropping the Q as well. Getting that pick on a Riven. That's nice. Oh, beautiful. Scarl, uh, sorry, Kled. Doing some decent work there. Finally, Sejuani is going to a lane that isn't, isn't fucking top, uh, isn't mid lane. She just run through a, a vision ward though, so I'm fairly certain. Actually, this may be a bait, to be honest. She might maybe it'll bait this. If he drops a Q, there we go. He gets back. He gets back his uh his Scarl. He's still very, very low though, so he's gonna want to be careful here. He's gonna want to be very, very careful for as a matter of fact. <laughs> he managed to survive, but he's gonna have to back there. Alright, Skarner finally hitting level six. Eleven minutes into the game. Better late than never, to be honest. Uh, he's finally got, like, he's got a big impact ulti, at least. So, if he builds tanky, despite the fact he's not necessarily all that ahead. I mean, he's going for Trinity Force right now, so not entirely sure on that one. We did get killed bottom lane, actually. Zaya is really not doing any damn damage here. And the bullet tank comes down, does a shitload of damage onto that Zaya. They're struggling for this one, though. The minions are going to finish her off. Oh, actually, Thresh just picks up that kill as well. They're still going to chase, though. There's actually potential. If she can get strut up, she might be able to get a little bit of movement speed. But the uh, the W from Re uh, from Rakan pushes her away. Damn, that was like this. This Zai is taking like really nasty hooks. She's playing with fire real hard on these. What a surprise! Sejuani's coming mid lane. Justice Punch goes down. The yeah, ulti comes out as well. Doesn't manage to land onto him, but he's moving right into the middle of it anyway. Galio struggling to get anything out of this. The Zoe a little bit too crafty for him, dude. Sejuani is pitching a fucking tent right now. The Zoe is 5 and 1. This is not looking too hot. Um, yeah. She's hitting mid pretty hard. That's a little bit unfortunate. I mean, the other wings are doing fine, though, on blue side at least. It's like, Kled's doing pretty damn well. He just gets a pick on top side. Sejuani's moving in on this bot side right now, but they're like. I mean, Thresh is fed, let's be real here. He's, he's 2 and 0. He's gonna pick up that BF sword. He's just gonna, he's gonna go full AD, let's be real. Um. Right? Zoe... I mean, she TP'd to the minions to go back. She could've just TP'd there. Like, this would've worked as a TP also. Or just backing and then TP'ing back to lane. Would've also been a thing that would've been better than what she did. There was like multiple different options that would've been at least slightly better than the shit she just pulled. Still! Anyway, Tom going down onto the Sejuani. She's getting Justice Punch back towards the Skarner as well. She manages to flash, drop the Q. They're still chasing though. He drops the Q, managing to pick that kill up on the Sejuani. Skarner flashing, Zoe flashing. Everybody's fucking flashing right now. No idea what's going on. She picks up that flash as well. She's going for it though. A little bit concerning on that. Kled's coming down though. Getting the Ollie onto her. Missing the bear trap on a rope, but he's still pushing forward. The Ollie off of Zoe coming down. That's going to be the pick for Clyde. Onto that Zoe right there. What the f actual... Okay. I have no idea what's going on right now. I have absolutely no idea. Alright. Right. Revan's fucked. Revan's screwed. Okay. I completely devolved into just gibberish there. Because that was some fucking... <laughs> Alright, we got a major amount of pings in action going down on bot lane. We got double TP onto that ward. From both Scar- I mean, Scar is making use of the teleport at the very least. We're gonna get that tower. We now got four-man bot lane here. How are Red Side gonna react to this, though? That's the main thing I wanna know. He actually goes in for the ulti. The Rakan going for the quickness. The bullet time, not managing to pick anything up here. Zaya popping ulti as well. Absolutely zero picks off of that, but now- But now Red Side are a little bit And Wait, what the fuck is Sejuani doing? Alright, she's just walking through five people. She doesn't give a fuck right now. Blade of the XL coming down off Riven. Zaya's in deep trouble here. Getting picked up by the Galio. Riven is not doing jack shit here. She is stuck in a Womble combo of CC. The likes of which even fucking Pornhub gangbangs have never seen. And that's, uh, that's the end of that. Okay. okay. They're gonna get that tower off of that, no problem. 
I mean, Zoe's just, she, I mean, she's gotten all the kills and she's not able to do anything right now. She's, she is absolutely, like, Sejuani definitely put all of the eggs in that mid basket and, um, mm. that's not ideal. My team is tilted, rip. Okay. Understandable. They have a Zoe on their team and they're not winning. I can understand the frustration there. That's going to be a dragon coming out for both side right now. But yeah, Galio's right. We ha they have a lot of CC. Thresh, three forms of CC. Galio, uh, two, I believe? No, three. Yeah, no, three, yeah. Uh, Skarner as well. I mean, he's got a little bit of a slow as well, but he's got that big, that big OE. I'd say everybody has at least some form of CC on this team, which is fantastic. And it definitely doesn't help when big beefy frontliners like Sejuani and stuff just walk, just meander through three people, uh, or sorry, not three people, five people to try and get, I mean, I don't even know who she was going for. I don't really think she had a plan. She was just fucking going for it, dude. She was, she, she was brave as hell going through five people on that enemy team. And it didn't, it surprisingly didn't work out for her. I don't know how that happened. All right, so we got a Rift Herald call coming down here. Sejuani well, well aware of it. The Death Sentence does land onto her though. Skarner pulling her back. Not the best always in the world or not the best attempts at CCing. Sejuani really doesn't care. Although, we do have a pick on a Zoe here, which is nice. She She's kind of late to the party running away here. She gets the pick and uh, we can see a push down a mid lane here. Actually, never mind, they surrendered. <laughs> Well, okay, I mean, that was like, was that a lost game? What? I don't even think that, I don't even necessarily think that was a lost game. But apparently it was. Apparently it was. Okay. That's a little bit anticlimactic. If you have any bronze spectators that you would like to be featured on the channel, feel free to drop it on the email on screen. And as always, if you want to join my Discord to learn a bit more about it, or just chat to some other members of the Sock Drawer, feel free. Link in the description. Thank you guys very much for watching this. If you did enjoy it, feel free to drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel and you just watched this 10-minute video, I would really love it if you would subscribe as well. Take care. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.